Hello everyone and welcome to episode 55 of our game dev tutorials. Um, sorry I've been a little bit uh, out and about. Uh, I've had summer vacations for my kids and stuff to deal with and uh, my computer died, had to get that replaced. I've had some issues for sure so I apologize uh, for the delay since the last video but I come bearing gifts or loot for that matter. Um, this has been probably the most highly requested thing. I am not going to do the craziest loot system, but a simple one um, is on the table. It's going to take multiple parts, so bear with me. Um, today, what we're going to be working on is uh, just the drops. So this is part one of our simple loot system. Uh, we are going to create an inventory item class, just the base of it. Um, and that's because we're going to put a, a list of them inside loot bag. Then we're going to create the pipeline for loot bag, make the mobs drop the loot bag, and then we're going to test it. So that's what we're doing today. But if you guys could take a second and uh, decide whether you like my videos or not, and if you do, then please hit that like button to share it around. Um, it really does push the videos a lot. Do a comment. Just say whatever. Ask a question. I'm here. I answer just about everything. Um, and I definitely read everything. Um, uh, drop by Discord if you have any questions. Um, check out my Twitch channel. I am going to start doing coding streams. Um, I haven't exactly decided when, but I'm definitely going to do them. Sorry about the cat. Um, where was I? I'm definitely going to start doing them. Um, I'm not sure exactly the format yet. I'm still trying to work that out. Uh, I got really delayed because of a few things like the computer going down. So it's something I'm definitely looking into, though. Um, anyway, guys, uh, let's jump on in. All right. Um, so first things first, we uh, probably should add our art that we're going to use. Um, and our art looks like that. I mean, obviously, I made it. It's just a loot bag, right? Not a big deal. But I will provide it in the uh, provided materials down below. Um, but let's get that added. Um, we're going to put it in content 2D, and then we're going to create one called loot. So just a folder called loot. Uh, add new folder, loot, and then loot bag goes in there. And then obviously we always do content copy if newer. If you don't, it won't work. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create inventory item. This is just a really simple class. It's just a base. It's just a placeholder for now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that uh, down in our wonderful whole uh, gameplay area here. We're just going to inside world add a folder called uh, inventory. Sorry, inventory. And then inside here, we're going to add new item. And then we're going to do uh, inventory item. Easy enough. Uh, we need to make sure that we get our includes. There we go. And clean up our namespace, add public. And inventory item is going to uh, kind of be its own little class. Um, but what we are going to have inside of it is a uh, uh, icon. So public animated 2D animate. Whoops. Hmm. I grabbed one that is not got Z engine in it. Z engine done. Now we got it. Animated 2D. There we go. And then public inventory item. And that that's actually it that we're gonna do for now. Um, we don't even have to add that item, but that would be your your icon. Um, so this item will have lots of things, or could have tons of things in it. You can have your stats in it. You can have a type of an item, like a healing potion, or it could be a you know a, a, a stack of bullets. Uh, it could be all kinds of things. So this class will become super important. Um, but for right now, it's just a shell, because uh, all we're worried about is making sure our mobs drop something today. And by something, I mean just display the bag. We're not even going to collect it today because I want to break these up into manageable chunks. 
and not try to have the 55 plus minute tutorials. Um, so that's how we're going to go for it. So that is it for, for this class. This class will get ridiculous, could get ridiculously complicated. It doesn't have to, but it could get very complicated moving forward. Um, and then so now we're going to add loot bag. So add new item uh, loot bag. You can call this whatever you want. But it's a loot bag because I'm literally going to put a loot bag on the ground. So, I mean, call it what you want. Uh, it's up to you. Um, this is also a relatively simple class. The main thing we're going to do here is just make sure that it has an image on it and that it uh, contains all of the different stuffs. So, um, loot bag. Same, same shtick here. We need to go through and grab all of this stuff. We need to um, make it public. Well, we don't actually have to, but it's going to be helpful and let you'll run into less errors this way. And so loop bag is actually going to extend from animated 2D. Um, and then we're going to have uh, the constructor. So public loot bag, big deal. And that obviously is going to have a base for the animated 2D. So if we just go in here and go to definition, we can grab what the base is. Whoops, be great if I could click properly. Um, and we're gonna go and paste that into loop bag, even though it's not actually needing all of these things, but that way we can type it in here. So we have path, pose, dims, frames, color. Now color will just be color dot, oops color dot white not wheat white um, and in our bag here we do need the path and we need the position for sure dimensions we could probably hard code I think we'll do that we'll go let's go new vector 2 2020 oops go and frames will be new vector 2 1 1 because that's all the images if you want an animated one you know change this out add the animation down here and you're good um, so we don't need color we don't need frames we don't need dims cool all right so that de deals with that um, and then what we're going to need is a list of those items so uh, a loot bag has different things in it um, or it could just have one thing in it. It depends on how you want to write your game. In this case, we're going to make a list of loot items so we have at least some flexibility. I know it's a simple loot system, but this won't take much extra work. So, you know, yeah, we'll do that. List inventory inventory item. And this is just items to, uh, equals new list inventory item. Okay. Uh, here... We're also going to need to take in the list of items. So list inventory item. Uh, items. Sorry. My brain sometimes. A little bit tired. Okay, so items equal items. So cool. All right, so that deals with the creation of it, which is great. Um, and this is a super simple uh, start point, right? Um, we're just trying to get the mobs to drop them. That's where the focus is for this tutorial. Um, so now we have what we want them to drop. They're going to need to be able to draw, but the draw can just run the animated. So we're good. Okay. Um, very simple, right? Let me just build and make sure we're good. We have a syntax area because... I didn't close that. Nice. Glad I built it. All right. Dealt with that. So now the pipeline for loot bag is a little bit diff is is well, I mean it's uh, I was going to say it's different. It's really very much the same as most things. So, um, we have the pipeline for users which have mobs and stuff inside. It's basically the same. Um, we are going to be working in world um, to create a list of loot bags. I mean, it's very simple in general, but 
I want to show every step of what we're doing as I have for everything in this entire tutorial set. Loot bags. Those new loot bags. And so by doing this, I, I want to make sure that you guys have an ability to create a simple loot system. Um, it is not going to be something that you would really want to publish per se, but it's something that you can really build off of and create whatever the heck you need to. Um, and then maybe we'll add to it later with like drag and drops and stuff like that. So, um, which is a much more complicated subject, believe it or not. Um, all right, so we've got our loot bags there. Um, we need to come down to, uh, not even to update, because we're not even gonna update them right now. We're just drawing them. So we come all the way down to draw. There we go. And then uh, loot bags, we wanna draw under our players and our units so they can walk over them better so we'll draw them right in oh sorry under is above I apologize uh, four. remember what draws last is what draws on top so uh, I equals zero I less than loot bags dot count I plus plus and then in here we're gonna have just loot bags I dot draw and then lowercase offset I yeah that just that's all the same so yeah we're gonna use this because that is our screen offset so perfect okay now um, we haven't done this for a little while so this is a good time to brush up on it uh, when we're passing things via delegate um, we are gonna have these things be called we do them in game globals they're right here so this is just gonna be like pass loot bag um, loot bag um and remember we do this when we're trying to uh um ha take creation of something from multiple locations and pass it to us to us not always singular but usually singular location that's what we're doing here we have um loot bags can to be created from from any mob and then they need to show up in the world here and so um we want that to work, and to do that, we, we use I use this strategy. Um, and is there other ways to do it? Absolutely. If you're not using C sharp, it's actually more difficult to do this. You could do them with like a C sharp, sharp pointer to a class or to pointer to a function. I'm sorry, um, and whatnot. But uh, Java doesn't really even have anything, to my knowledge, that is akin to this. So, um, and then we need the function. So, function add loot bag add there right there right there we'll just grab this and then i'll fix that in just a second uh we want to be there and there okay so and this is just add loot bag and then we'll deal with that in a second but um so we need to put this up here before we forget and then what are we doing here well um, add loot bag we can do very similar to this except we're gonna do a loot bag loot bag and then same thing goes here and then we would probably call this I don't know what like temp loot bag something to that uh, extent um, temp bag yeah it'll be shorter temp bag and then uh, loot bags dot add temp bag okay um, this will add the bags from where we need to add them um, then the question is okay well where do we need to add them you say well uh, it's definitely gonna be in mob right so we come into mob where's mob units mob let's pin that for now and um, we are going to add them to get hit I think where is get hit um, oh you know what I bet you it's in the the uh, um, I bet you it's in the uh, parent class. Maybe even this one. So we have you know, 
did hit. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's take this. Let's override it because we don't want this in our our heroes. Heroes don't need to drop a loot bag. Um, so in here, we're gonna come down, uh, try to alphabetize real quick. There we go. And we're gonna override. But we are also going to. Um, now we're just gonna completely override it because it needs to be inside here. So inside here, we're gonna say if. Um, dead. Well, we already know it's dead. We're here. We're inside dead. We're gonna keep it there. That's fine. Um, we know we're dead. That's what we want. So we want to first roll a random number. So int num equals uh, globals dot rand dot next, and that is zero. And then what? Like one third of the time, so like just two, and then plus one, because this is the number it's actually going to roll up to. This is it has to roll a number below, so I like to see the number, so I add one to the end. It's a minor thing, but I like to do it that way. And then uh, no, oh, I also used to think that was really stupid, and then eventually I actually got you know brought into that slowly. All right, so um, here we're gonna say globals dot pass. Whoops, game globals. Game globals dot pass. Loot bag. Uh, new loot bag. And then uh, that's gonna be the path to the image. And we have new vector two, so. We're going to take in the position of the item and a null because we're not actually passing anything in yet. And the position of the item is 2D loot loot bag. Okay. Get that semicolon. Okay. Um, from here. It actually should just work. So let's see. If we go in and we kill some dudes. Whoops. There we go. And we hit play. We go in here. So we kill a couple of these. We should see some drops. Unless we're just getting really bad drop rates right now. There we go. There's one. There's another one. We were just getting a bad drop rate. All right. That's what we're trying to get to. I know it's simple, but at least we have loot dropping, and then we can do more with that loot next. And the style of this game is not super conducive to this, but we'll we'll make it work, and then we'll have it for a future development. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and uh, you know we will get to this next time. Um, and despite however long it takes me to get the next video out, which shouldn't be very long this time, um, I'm not going anywhere. So I will keep making the videos. Uh, so stick around. All right. Talk to you guys later.